Hey folks, Pete here from Tyrish Times. We're still on Koh Samui. We're here for another couple of days and then we're back to Bangkok. So, in this video, right, we're gonna tell you about, well, let me just explain first. Recently, a couple of people contacted me and they said, Pete, can you make a video about what it's like to be married to a Thai woman? And I gotta be honest, it didn't appeal to me. It didn't uh, pique my interest. But then I said it to Noon and she said, well, how about we flip it around and she tells her story about what it's like to be married to a Farang man and how her life has changed. We've been married since December of last year. So what's that, four months? So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. And I don't really know what Noon is gonna say, so I hope it's gonna be good. I have a couple of ideas what she might say, but she, you know, she could say anything really and I'll have to put it in. <laughs> Anyway, before we do that, I'm going to have to show you where we're staying here. We're at a resort on in the Lamai area called The Hive. And it's right on the beach down here. It's a really, really nice place. And I'm going to show you the room now. So if you're ever in Samui, you can check this place out. So here's the room. It's a, it's a bungalow, right? We're staying in a bungalow. Decent sized bed. Nice and simple, but... Really nice, I like it. I like the Thai style, I like the decor. You've got a TV, fridge, a table over there. Kind of standard, you know, it's a decent sized room, high ceilings as well, which is pretty good. And it's a bungalow. And that's what I like when you come to places like this. And it's in a nice little garden area as well. We're only like, I can see the beach from the window here. 20 meters from the beach. Anyway, I know when you come on holidays, the last thing you, you're gonna be doing is watching TV, but I had a flick through the channels there last night and for the first time in all the time I've been in Thailand, I found Irish TV. They've got satellite TV here and they have Irish television channels. And I was watching, you know, I was reminiscing and watching stuff from Ireland, you know, like programs that you'd never see normally, you know, they, you know, it was, it was cool. It was a nice experience to see. It made me quite homesick actually watching it. Anyway, there's, there's where I do my editing and, um, in here, you've got your your standard hotel beers that cost twice as much as the 7-Eleven. Coming in at 100 baht for a beer. In 7-Eleven, you're paying 45 baht. So maybe I'll have a beer and I'll run to the 7-Eleven and put it in the... <laughs> maybe, we'll see. Anyway, here's the toilet, right? Now look at this, look. Little cowboy, cowboy and Western. Doors, look, it's like, a, it's like a Clint Eastwood movie. Hey, Pilgrim, boom. <laughs> and then look, it's a standard kind of toilet, you know, it's big shower there, big shower area. And then you've got your Clint Eastwood doors as well, look. Hey, Pilgrim. Imagine kicking a door in and someone's sitting there. <laughs> Anyway, in today's video, we're going to have a chat with Noon, but before we do that, I'm going to take you around and show you a couple of places in Koh Samui. Because I like Koh Samui. It's the first time I've ever been here in 11 years. Usually I go to Phuket or Koh Chang. I don't know why I've never come here, but I'm here now and I, I do like it. All right, let's go. Right, folks, where are we doing? Overlap stone. Now, what is overlap stone? Viewpoint of Samui, one of them. So we're at the, one of the best viewpoints on Samui, yeah? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, I have to check. Right, well, you walk out there now to the overlap stone and you give us your verdict if it's a good viewpoint or not. Yeah. All Let's right, go. off you go. She's gonna be scared. Oh, she's not scared. She's running. Like in the photo, it used to be like wooden bridge or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, they changed the bridge. Anyway, let's let's talk about the stone. No. Um, it's overlaps. <laughs> like obviously, <laughs> uh, two overlaps on one. So. Okay, you walk out onto the stone there. Keep going. 
Okay. Actually, actually, hold on. Just be careful. That is actually a bit dodge. Oh. I go first. No, I go first. Whoa. Step right oh. Whoa, that's a uh, fall to your death. What a beautiful view. Look at that. You don't want to go down there. We came from up there. That's where the other half live with their swimming pools and their big fancy villas. Pretty nice. I mean, it is, it is just a stone. <laughs> Very stony, coarse, nice oh, coarse stone. What do you think, Neil? Nice viewpoint? Yeah, it's good view. Yeah? Yeah. You happy you came here? Yeah, I can't wait for photos and videos. So now it's my turn to take loads of Instagram photos. Yeah, and videos. All right, I'll stop the camera now and I'll start taking some photos. Yeah. I hate taking photos. So one thing I've noticed in Samui is a lot of the um, fancy houses are built up on top of the hills, the mountains. And look at that incline. I really don't know how cars are able to drive up and down these roads in rainy season. I mean, we're on the side of a mountain here. If the rain comes down, it's coming right down on these roads. Certainly a motorbike is not going to get up here. I'd imagine you have to have a pickup to get up these roads and really... Imagine coming up here late at night as well. You're taking blind corners all the time and rainy season. I'm not sure I'd be a fan of that. <laughs> so I want to show you this place behind me, folks. Some of you will have heard of it. Some of you will have never heard of it before. It's just a... From the outside, it's just another massage shop, right? But this place here, right here, was where the good Farang used to do all his vlogging. All right, folks. Yeah, that's right. You know who it is. Paul and Jenny. This is where it all happened in here. And I found it the other day. I rolled past it and looked familiar. And there you go. If you don't know who he is, he's a, he's a vlogger from Dublin, Ireland and um, he hasn't made a video in a while now but his channel has just been made public again so fair play to you Paul. I hope you can do more stuff, looking forward to whatever comes next for you. You and Jenny, I wish you all the best. Right, we're down at the beach now. Let me just explain, what is Lamai? Well, it's a beachside town in the southeast of Samui. Okay, it's a pretty popular place. It's quiet at the moment but there are tourists coming back we spent four nights here we spent another two nights at a place called Shawang which is uh, kind of I suppose what would you say the party spot of the island and that was a lot busier than here but um, I really like the vibe here in Lamai it's a lot more chilled out you've got nice restaurants nice bars you've got interesting people lots and it seems to me that Lamai is where the long-term expats are, are staying and Chiang is for if you want to come a party in Thailand you go to Chiang. That's just kind of how I feel about it at the moment. If I'm wrong let me know in the comment section. Anyway now it's time to go and talk to Noon and find out what she thinks about being married to a Farang and I must say I'm a little bit nervous about what she's gonna say on camera. I hope it all works out well for me. Right here we are. All right Noon tell us now go on. Don't be shy. The question. So, Noon, what do you think about marrying a Farang? Well, um, what I'm going to say might not be the same as the other couples because, like, relationships are very, very unique for each couple. But for my, like, for myself, in my opinion, I think, the, like, there are four points that I can think about it. And first of them is that it's good to live in a moment. It's good to be in the moment. It's good to think in like of the moment and enjoy the moment. But like too much of it might not be good. I think non ties like you, like Europeans or like any other non ties would think about the future. Um everything everything they do, everything you do, like 
would 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 have consequence for the future like um your mindset things for the future Frank's think of the future more than say Thai people do yeah tends to because tends to yeah we can't yeah. generalize of yeah, course Thai people think to. of the future yeah like worry about the future and think about the plans better plan ahead yeah plans okay. ahead better and the second point is that well of course like any couple will have fights will have bad times but yeah like everyone has their flaws so i would say that the cool thing about not only marrying a orang or non thai i think like being in a relationship with non thai one of the good points that i always share with my friends that they always compromise like make compromises like sit down and talk about it if you're wrong you say sorry if you're right you say your your word and is that anything to fix like let's fix not break many thai men i i would say that like it's easy to break than to fix what do you mean by that like any problem like which is like okay that's it finished done cannot compromise cannot fix like i would think about breaking it than fixing it because it's really hard to fix because fixing doesn't only take one part fixing take two parts and what i can see from non thais like of fran they really really willing to fix together they're willing to work on it together they don't give up easily that's the benefit of like having a relationship with fran that's 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 my point i always say, share this to my friends or anyone that like asks me it's not about marriage it's about relationships as well that like the good thing is that like when they're wrong they say sorry because it's not easy to find people especially these generations to say sorry to you and the third point is that you give my my own space i can have like my own space i can have my own time with my friends i can i can go out and hang out with my friends at night time or day time freely and do thai men not allow people to have their own space well like from my experience like when i hang out with thai girls and when they when their husbands or boyfriends are at home and not going out it doesn't have to be at night time the day time at all they were like oh like my boyfriend is at home now my husband is at home like they kind of like want to go home or their guys would just call them and like where are you or when are you going to come back something like that and the last one we got more points coming yeah okay go ahead go ahead <laughs> go on she made notes folks she Obviously, made some notes i love it yeah because like just in case that i just go on go on what do you have down there um okay one more thing is that um you like with with non thai it's equal okay like, what do you mean equal what like women and men like it's they're equal i mean you you do your job as well i do my job as well and the housework we do it together doesn't have to be like oh you woman your wife your girlfriend you do that you do the laundry you do the housework because many many thai men they i wouldn't say all of them but i'll say that like yeah many that i saw is like they marry a, a woman or they have a, a, yeah i would say marry marry a woman like and at that woman not a wife turn into a maid Like you're certainly not a maid. <laughs> no. I mean I I'm doing the household. Yeah, we both yeah. take turns doing the household. But like folks. we like help each other like on I'm like oh yeah like I don't have time for this can you do this can you help me? Like yeah do you do this I do that like oh, we do it together and that's the good thing that I like about it. Any more points there now? Well, the most interesting point is parents because oh many Thai women if they if they are in relationship with um Thai men or Thai families uh, yeah, Thai men of course uh um, relationship or marriage like when that time you have to meet the guy's parents you feel like oh will I get approved 
like there will be status going on there you have to be like it made me not confident and not like it, it made me uncomfortable they care about what i have or what my parents have what do i have money like what my parents like so they want to fi figure out your status yeah like they, they, they're probably like not all of them but like many of them would think that like will i be a leech yeah to the family something like that hmm. while meeting non-thai parents it's like meeting friends i don't i feel i feel so comfortable i feel easy i don't have to pretend yeah but i won't pre pretend i never pretend no you, you certainly never pretend no. <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's a good part that's why i marry you okay well thanks for marrying me <laughs> well, that was all right i was expecting um <laughs> some uh, worse comments there i mean it worked out well i mean we'll, we'll leave it up to the comment section so leave your comments down below and let, let us know what you think about what no said i'm sure people are going to agree some people are going to disagree but say la vie that's life isn't it anyway we'll wrap it up now folks hit the like button and uh, like i said leave us a comment share the video and uh, we'll see you on the next one see ya